Welcome Libra. This is going to be, whoa, okay. This is going to be at your June bonus love reading. Okay. I really like how you're standing your ground here and setting some boundaries. There's a need to protect yourself with that seven of wands when it comes to a partnership, a connection here. There could be a disharmony, an argument. Um, I'm sorry, a disharmony, a separation here. Something that, you know, felt very, very close to you. A very strong connection um, there could be some deceit or lies or finding something out with the seven of swords but I feel like you're standing your ground it's like you're being pretty grounded and in and solid with the with with everything that is coming in it's like huh I don't know you just kind of relaxed in this picture here that's what's showing the hangman yeah it's like you're reflecting over everything like you're not making a move too quickly. It's like you're reflecting. Two of Pentacles. This person's confused. <laughs> yeah, because the challenge is is a fight, um, disagreements, not seeing eye to eye, and something it could be a clash, maybe due to the past. Nine of Cups. I'm mean, sorry, Nine of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. This person is really worried. Like in their mind, they're stuck. This is like paranoia stuff going on. Um, yeah, they're feeling like a bit depressed, a bit of anxiety, like they probably can't sleep sometimes. They're they're not thinking clearly. It's like they're waiting. In the near future, we have the Knight of Wands and the Magician. We have a Page of Pentacles, which is some type of message. And the High Priestess, woo, you're spilling some type of something going on. You're feeling this devil in your in your energy or in a situation. You're feeling it. Or you felt it. You're in the middle of like surrendering something. This is thinking. This is literally reflecting on everything. Huh. There's like a pause. Getting a better understanding. About to sacrifice something here. Or wanting to. I think it's because of this devil. Let's see what this two of pentacles is with this person. The queen of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Three of Wands. Hmm. Is, is this person juggling? I don't know. I'm just saying. Something feels like... Something feels one-sided. Doesn't feel like go give and take anymore. It doesn't feel... Something doesn't feel balanced. And it's because this person is doing something. This could be how they view you uh, with that Queen of Cups energy, but there's like a lot of emotions here. Huh. You could have found something out or found information out here with that Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're protecting yourself from like a charmer or someone who knows how to like talk their way out of things in some way. It's like, nope, I'm not going to... Nope, I saw what I saw. You're not going to be able to charm your way out of this, you know, like that type of energy. In the past, I feel like you were kind of losing faith with the, with somebody in the past. Losing hope with a marriage or a connection here. What is this? Nine of Swords. Two of Wands. This person is at a crossroads. They have no idea what to do. It's like they have a chance to, I don't know if they have a chance to make things right or not. Um, but they're seeing you not putting in the effort here. So you're coming up as the queen of rings, even though you're an air sign, you're coming up as an earth sign because it could, it could be, it could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart, but the queen of, of rings right now could be the energy you're carrying during the situation. It's like you're very independent. Like, you know who you are. Okay. You're standing very strong. You've always been strong. Um, you're, you're being, you know what, you, how generous that you have been, how nurturing you have been. So I feel like that's why you're just so calm because like there's nothing you feel that you did to, um, like this person. Hmm. Huh. It's like, you know who you are and you know, like you're comfortable about your, like how you feel right now. Like you're seeing it like, okay, it's one-sided. Something's going on. Somebody got caught. Something happened. This person does not feel you. This person doesn't think you trust them at all. I feel like that's why, yeah, because they have too many secrets. They could have had another connection for some, not saying all, but it feels like things were hidden. 
this person, if you're being silent with this person, they're definitely feeling that you are not trusting them anymore. Uh, anything they say or do, it's like you're going to see right to, through that. We also have the Knight of, of Wands coming in. Yeah, it feels like there's a sense of like something unstable here. Something does not feel solid. It doesn't feel grounded. You know, with the Knight of Wands, it's like there's a want to pursue something else. With the Five of Pentacles, but there's like something that has to do with either money or something attached to money or something attached to like, I don't know, the coins, the roots. This is a tree. It's rooted. The devil, but there's like a planning a way to get out of this devil. Wow. Wow. It's like you're planning. <laughs> Look at the devil, the devil. You're, oh, five of swords, the game. Whee! You're planning a way to escape from the devil and the outcome. It feels like the outcome of all this is like you're seeing things really clear and there's a, there's a, a, a you manifesting. Okay. And where you're headed is to release some toxicity. Like you're trying, you're breaking free from something and you're planning something here. Okay. That's what it shows in the outcome because of this situation, whatever that may be, because the devil's coming up twice, but it's in the reverse in the outcome. So it's like you leaving, you're manifesting stuff. You're believing you have all the tools. You have the wisdom to freaking leave this situation now. Yeah. Queen of swords, cut somebody off. It's like making a bold ass move. Um, let's get the lovers. Love oracles. Player-like energy on the bottom, charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested, surrender, letting go, release, give give up, patience. We also have the truth coming out and feeling like you, there's a crossroads. So this situation is clearly a player's involved that you want to surrender because the truth has been coming out, but it's feeling as a crossroads because there's an indecision or maybe feeling like you're needing to make a choice or feeling like there's multiple options. Um, but there's a huge turning point here because I feel you've already seen the truth. You already gotten the truth here. Libra, what? what? Libra, this is crazy. You made a huge impact on me. This is this person's confessions. The timing wasn't right. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they're just sitting here thinking about you. Like, I don't know. And then the devil's thinking. Like, the devil's like playing a mind game. Like, I don't know. Player trying to manipulate the situation. I don't know. But I feel you're seeing way too clear. <laughs> you outsmarted the devil. Okay. Let's get this person's silent heart real quick. Sorry, guys. I run away to avoid my problems. The chemistry between us is off the charts, and you make me nervous. I'm battling inner demons. Obviously, we have the devil here. They're battling inner demons. I wish I could fix things between us. All right. Well, interesting that the devil's here. They're battling inner demons. They run away from things. They're player-like. I mean, you're seeing the truth. You're surrendering. You're at a crossroads because, you know, there's other things that need to take place before releasing this person. Or maybe you already are releasing this person for some or release this person already. But... This is like coming out of a very, very toxic situation. Very hard situation. Let's get some advice from Spirit. It's not about winning. Yeah. Yeah, it's not about winning. Speak openly and honestly. You will be received better when you come from the heart. Getting what you want takes top priority. 
move right through fear because the only way to get burned is to stop because you're scared. Dang. Spirit is literally talking straight to somebody here. These are strong messages. Um, let's get the moonology. Let's see what spirit wants you to do here too. Full moon in Taurus. Detoxify. I'm going to grab another one for you. Full moon in Leo. Go wild. Unleash your kindness self. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Okay. There's a sense of cleanse. There's a need to cleanse your space. Go wild. This is this is the courage. This is the lion, right? Leo. So it's about bravery, taking challenges head on, like facing fears and shit. Like that's what that go wild is. Um wow. Okay. Let's grab a love message for you guys. You got the dove. And it says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All right, Libra. Wow, this reading... Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you. I hope this message helped. And if it did or brought clarity in any way or helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for your general love readings. God bless.